Hello my crafty friends, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Today I have a new project to share with you. I created this embellishment book and I used a tutorial and SVG files created by my friend Michelle Randolph. I will be sure to include a link to her tutorial for this book. This embellishment book measures six inches by four and three quarters and the spine is two inches. Now to close this, I did add in this little latch and then I adorned it with these handmade flowers. Because this is going in another package, I kept the decorations on the front cover uh, fairly minimal. The latch is attached with these Velcro dots and inside I have several pages of fun embellishments. Before I show you these, let me show you the paper stack that I used. I use the DCWV Ocean Breeze stack. If you've seen my three previous videos, I have created a variety of projects using this stack. I think it is so much fun and perfect for the summer. On the first page, I've created these mini bag toppers using a die that I had in my stash. I have all of the embellishments attached using repositionable tape. On this, I've created this adorable seahorse. Now let me show you the dies that I used to make that. I used this seahorse die. It's by Hot Off The Press, and I ordered this a few years ago from the paperwishes.com. It comes with three dies, the seahorse base, a decorative layer, and seaweed. And I also ordered these shell dies, also from the Hot Off The Press, and you have two different dies in this package. I love the way this seahorse turned out. I have this iridescent gemstone for the eyes. I did include a floral spray here on the side and then three small pearls. And to get the glitter, I used this folk art Glitterific. This is their hologram paint and you all know that I use this quite often in many of my projects because I love to give things just a little bit of sparkle. But I love the way these turned out and I think these are perfect bag toppers. The second bag topper that I created is this seashell and I kept it fairly simple. I've just put pearls on the top. I love this rhinestone and pearl here on the bottom and then more flowers. I use my Spectrum Noir glitter pen to give this a little bit of sparkle. On the next page, I created these beautiful bows using a die that I had in my stash. I cut the base of the bows out in this navy blue, and then I used decorative paper to create the different images for each. I finished off each bow with these pearl and rhinestone trims. Isn't that pretty? On the next page, I created this beautiful rosette. I love the way this turned out. To make this rosette, I used my Anna Griffin rosette cut and emboss dies. There are three different versions. On the next page, I created this beautiful seahorse with a larger shell. Now this shell came from the shell die that I shared with you before, this one here. But I love the way this turned out. This shell is cut out in three layers. I've got white base, and then I created a border with this navy blue and then pink. I've got the seahorse layered here in a silver gray paper and then navy blue. I have a pink pearl for its eyes. And then I've cut out a couple of the seaweed pieces just to add dimension in the background. We've got a floral spray and I've got a variety of different pearls hidden in and a little sentiment that says explore, dream, and discover. This is pretty sizable embellishment and I think it'll look nice on the front of a card or a mini album. The next page I created a shaker tag. Now I did a video that shows you how to make this shaker tag and I will be sure to include a link in the description box but I love the way this turned out. It's got a little sentiment that says which way to the beach. This was made using Cricut Design Space and I just searched for a seahorse tag 
and I think this is so much fun. You can see all of the little beads and sequins and the little stars inside. And I did paper piece this to get the different colors. I've got floral sprays on either side and then little pearls on both sides. And then on the last page, I created more bag toppers. So this one is a little different from the first one. This time I just used my clear Spectrum Noir sparkle pens and then more gemstones here. And this is the other seashell. This concludes my review of my embellishment book. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified each time I upload a video. Now I've created a variety of projects using this Ocean Breeze stack, so be sure to check the link below to see all of the fun projects that go with this set. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now and happy crafting.